petroleum products will not last forever. There is an urgent need to conserve these scarce resources like diesel and fuel by adopting good driving habits, better maintenance of vehicles, by use of public transport instead of own vehicles. So friends, let us contribute in saving the fuel and help the nation. Download the PCRA Android app to know more about saving fuel issued in public interest by Petroleum Conservation Research Association, Government of India. I feel proud that I got the opportunity to come to such a level. Winning is not the part, the part is that we learn the most. Conserve the petrol as it is in the need of the hour. We are going to the top and we will win the international trip. We have prepared well. We'll try to give our level best. We'll give our 100% efforts, then we'll see. We'll give our whole best and we'll try to give our whole best. Well, hello there. The earth provides for every man's needs, but it's not even enough for every man's greed. So said the father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhi. With that thought, ladies and gentlemen, I, Gautam Bose, your quiz master for the day, welcome you all to PCRA Presents Saksham 2018, the grandest pan-India inter-school quiz contest which talks about the environment and its sustainability. Welcome. We are trying to educate the masses about few important topics like the nature, the environment and how to sustain it effectively. Saksham in itself was a mammoth exercise. The preliminary round saw as many as 2 lakh students, which is a huge number participating from 31,000 schools. The state level was held and today we are holding the North Zone semi-finals with the four best teams. So without wasting any further time, let's meet the teams together. On table number one, towards our right, we have a team from Delhi Public School, Uttarakhand. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, I am Mayank Singhal from Delhi Public School, Ranipur, Haridwar, Uttarakhand, and I am studying in class 10th. Okay, Mayank, welcome. Thank you, sir. And your partner is? Good morning. I am Udalak Chattopadhyay. I am also from Delhi Public School, Ranipur, Haridwar, Uttarakhand, and I also study in class 10th. All right, two class 10 students. Now, let me ask something important to you. We are dealing with the topic of environment and its sustainability. As youngsters studying in class 10, how important are those two topics for you? How seriously do you take them? Do you deploy them in your daily life? Because that is something that we have to do it in our daily activity. Actually, we try our best to implement these two topics in our lives as much as we can. Fantastic. Let's clap for them once again. That is something that we all should do. Well, moving now on to team number two, which is a lady and a gent from Sir Padmavat Singhania School, Rajasthan. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Gargi Gupta from Singhania School and I'm studying in 10th standard. Hi, and I'm Vatsal Mathur from class 10th B, Sir Padmavat Singhania School. Welcome to team number two as well. Let's clap for them, please. <laughs> Moving towards the left of the stage, on team number three, we have a team all the way from Jammu and Kashmir. It's Heritage School. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Pursh and I'm studying grade 10. I'm from Heritage School, Jammu. Hi, I'm Arnav Rana. I study in grade 8 and I'm from Heritage School, Jammu. Heritage School, before we move on to the next team, let me ask you something. Have you prepared specifically for this quiz? Yes, yeah, sir. we have tried our level best to learn the important okay. things and we have also went all those things that we thought that could come in this quiz. 
ये पे पेड़ और सो यू आर डबल गेसिंग मी वेल लेट्स सी हाउ दैट प्रेपरेशन ऑफ यू नो इज इज गुड इनफ टू पुट यू फॉर अ प्लेस इन द नेशनल फिनाले टाइम विल टेल Moving on to table number four, which is Cambridge Foundation Senior Secondary School from Delhi. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, I am Aman. I am from Cambridge Foundation School, and I study in class tenth. And your partner is? I am Mamsi Vishwanath. I am from class tenth, studying in Cambridge Foundation School. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I must say this at this point in time. ये जो art geniuses हमारे stage पे हैं, दो लाख बच्चों ने 31,000 स्कूलों से पार्टिसिपेट किया था ऑनलाइन एलिमिनेशन राउंड में और ये आठ स्टेज पे इसलिए हैं क्योंकि ये बहुत बहुत उम्दा टीम्स है सो इट्स ओनली फेयर दैट वी हैव अनदर राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज फॉर ऑल द फोर टीम्स ऑन स्टेज वेरी वेरी वेल डन एंड माइट आई एड टुडे एट द नॉर्थ जोन समाई फाइनल्स we are playing for a spot at the national finals only one team the winning team from this round will qualify for the national finals so all the best to all of you we are conducting a total of five rounds i'll explain each rule to you as we come to the rounds to start off with we have a round which is on environment we have eight questions in this round questions do not pass 10 points if you give me the right answer and no negatives at all as always i'll give you four options three would be incorrect and one would be the correct answer all right then let's begin the quiz the first question of this round is a direct for delhi public school uttarakhand and your question is coming on your television monitors minamata is a pollution related disease you have to tell me team 1 what does it result from does it result from a release of human organic waste into drinking water b accumulation of arsenic into the atmosphere c release of industry mercury into fishing water or d spilling of oil into the sea teams you have roughly about 10 seconds to ponder upon each answer soch ke samajh ke sahi uttar dijiye yes team 1 sir release of industry mercury into fishing water which is option c, c. well done let's clap for them they are absolutely right thanks for the event all right then moving on to the next question which is a direct for team number 2 question coming up on your monitor now carbon monoxide or co is toxic to animals and humans because of which of the following a because it inactivates nerves b it inhibits glycosis c combines with hemoglobin or is it d combines with oxygen So it's option It is a direct for Sir Padampat Singh Ghania School, and your answer would be option C combines with hemoglobin. You sound very confident. You want to change that, or you no. want to stick with that answer? Hmm. Well answered, ladies and gentlemen. Please clap for them. Ten full points to team number two. Good answer there. All right. So the first two questions have been answered correctly. Does that put additional pressure to team C? It does. And it always does. All right. Let's see whether you get your 10 points or not. Team number C, if you are ready, your question coming up on your monitors now. India accounts for 2.4% of the world land mass. How much of the world's biodiversity is found in the country? Is it A, a mere 4%? Is it B, 8%? is it c 15% or is it d 20% it's a direct for team heritage school from jammu and kashmir what do you think is the right answer option b 8% well to be honest to you mujhe lag raha tha iska sahi uttar hoga option c 15% do you want to take my cue or you want to go with your own answer your own answer your own answer which is Once option again, B, option B, they think eight percent is the right answer. Ladies and gentlemen, didn't I tell you 
All these teams are incredibly good. That's why they are here on stage. Let's clap for Team C. They are absolutely right. Well answered. The first three questions getting answered on the direct, which means it's a good sign. Let's see what Team 4 from Cambridge Foundation Senior Secondary School, Delhi, does with their direct question. Team 4, if you're ready, here comes your question on the screen. It's about the pine tree. Pine tree is not found in which of the following continents should be fairly simple for Team 4. Is it not found in Africa, in Australia, in Antarctica or in Latin America? Option C, C Antarctica. Antarctica. You think the right option is C, Antarctica. Could you just tell us why do you think that's the right answer? Why Antarctica? Why shouldn't a pine tree grow there? Mm, it's all covered in ice and snow. Because of the cold temperature? Yes, Absolutely mm. fine. Well answered. Let's clap for them. They pick up 10 points on their direct question. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, things are getting heated up. The first four questions have been answered correctly on the direct. To continue with the flow, we'll again start with team DPS Uttarakhand and go towards team number four. Team DPS, if you are ready, your question coming up on the screen now. This is an interesting question. Two places in India called Rushkulya and Gahir Mata. Now both are very, very important for our biodiversity. They have become well known for which of the following? A. Mass egg laying by sea turtles. B. Captive breeding of gharial. C. Prehistoric cave paintings. And D. Uranium deposits. Rushikulya and Gahir Mata. Two very important places. I'll tell you, both of them are in the state of Odisha. So option A, mass egg laying by sea turtles. Sea turtles, what breed can you just enlighten us on that? Olive ridley sea turtles. Fantastic, these teams are absolutely brilliant. Well answered. So just to give a heads up to our television audience, uh, these two places are phenomenally important for the olive ridley turtles for their direct question which is going to come up on the screen now here is your question team two one of the following processes is not a step in a water cycle operating in nature you'll have to identify which one a evaporation b transpiration c precipitation or is it d the process of photosynthesis Option D, photosynthesis. That was fairly simple, wasn't it? Well done, let's clap for team number two. Photosynthesis is absolutely right. And it is a process used by plants uh, in which they convert light energy into chemical energy. Well answered team number two. As we move across to team number three for their second direct question. Here it comes on your screens now. Team Heritage School, this is your question. Accumulation of non-biodegradable pesticides in the food chain in increasing amount at each higher trophic level is known by what name? Is it known as eutrophication? Is it known as pollution? Is it known as biomagnification? Or is it D, known as accumulation? Option C, biomagnification. Biomagnification. Sure about that? Yeah. Fantastic. Let's clap for them. Well done. <laughs> Thank boys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this rate, I don't think we'll have any unanswered question. I have asked seven questions as of now. All the seven have been answered correctly. Let's see if this trend continues with our last question of this round, which is a direct for team Cambridge Senior Secondary School. Here comes your question on the screen now. An inverted pyramid of biomass can be found in which of the following ecosystems? Can it be found in a forest, marine, grassland or tundra? 
these are your four options what do you think is the right answer option d tundra option d tundra i'm afraid that's incorrect the correct answer that i was looking for is the inverted pyramid of biomass can be found in marine life marine was the option that i was looking for it doesn't matter it's still early days so ladies and gentlemen that about does it for the first round of the quiz most of the teams have done incredibly well so let's applaud for all their efforts well done to all the teams all right then ladies and gentlemen at the close of the first round the scorecard is as follows team number 1 from delhi public school uttarakhand they are on 20 points team number 2 from sir padampat singhania school rajasthan also on 20 points moving to the left heritage school jammu and kashmir on 20 points as well and team 4 cambridge senior secondary school is on 10 points but not to worry it's still early days we have lot many rounds to go now listen to the rules of the second round carefully and ladies and gentlemen you are watching pcra presents Saksham 2018 the inter school quiz contest which talks about biodiversity energy and its conservation All right then teams the rules of the game are as follows is round mein hum aapse char prashn puchhenge hamare paas total char prashn hai प्रश्न के सही उत्तर दिए जाने पे आपको 10 अंक प्राप्त होंगे 10 पॉइंट्स इज व्हाट यू गेट इफ यू गेट द आंसर राइट क्वेश्चंस डू नॉट पास इफ यू गिव मी द राइट आंसर फेयर अनफ आई गिव यू 10 पॉइंट्स इफ नॉट देन आई विल गिव यू द राइट आंसर सो वन डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन टू ईच टीम ऑल द बेस्ट वंस अगेन परफॉर्म वेल थिंक वेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन ऑफ दिस राउंड इज अ डायरेक्ट फॉर टीम नंबर 1 Delhi Public School Uttarakhand and might I add one more thing all questions in this round will be pertaining to science and technology all right first question here it comes for team number 1 an organism with two unlike genes of a trait is called what is it called homozygous is it called heterozygous is it both of these or is it none of these it so basically if you think right it's a 50 50 chance of getting this right it is b heterozygous you think the answer is b heterozygous ladies and gentlemen they are good 10 points to them well answered all right then let's move to the second question of this round which is a direct for team sir Padampat Singhania School from Rajasthan. If you are ready, Team Two, here comes your question on your monitors. Which one of the following is included under Red Biotechnology? Is it A, developing of new fuels? Is it B, development of pest-resistant grains? Is it C? accelerated evolution of disease resistant animals or is it d using stem cells to regenerate damaged human tissues those are your four options we guess it's option b development of pest resistant grains you think it's option b well to break the bad news to you team 2 that's incorrect you don't get any points the but the upside to that is you neither lose any points i'm going to give you the right answer the correct answer to this ladies and gentlemen was option d using stem cells to regenerate damaged human tissues and these days there exist five main groups all right then moving to the left of the stage now for the third question of this round which is a direct for heritage school jammu and kashmir all the best to you here comes your question on your monitors oh this is a interesting one you have to tell me what is aditya tokamak what is aditya tokamak is it a robot is it a space program to study the sun is it c nuclear fusion test reactor or is it d ai or artificial intelligence simulated device very interesting question 
I can give you an additional clue by saying that Toka mat is actually it's an abbreviation. It means something specific. What is the right answer according to you, Heritage School, Jammu and Kashmir? You roughly have about 10 seconds to answer. Option B, a space program to study the sun. You think it's B, a space program to study the sun. Uh, too bad. Gentlemen, that's not the right answer. So I'm going to bounce that question back to the audience. I'm going to take just one answer because there are only four options. Whoever wants to try this can. Yes, the young boy there, wait for a microphone to reach you. C. C, which is nuclear fusion test reactor. Yes. Is just a guess or you know something about this concept? You don't sound too confident, young man. You're sure you want to stick with that? Yes. All right. You know, ladies and gentlemen, in quizzing, guessing is an integral part of the game. Sometimes we don't know much about a question, but our gut feeling sometimes gives us the right answer. That has happened with this young man. Let's clap for him. C is the right answer. It is nuclear fusion test reactor. And as I was telling to team three, tokamak is actually a Russian word. It's an abbreviation for toroidal chamber with magnetic coils. That is what the abbreviation stands for. Tough luck there uh, for Heritage School, but not to worry. Again, as I keep on saying, you can always make a comeback. Last question of this round is a direct for Cambridge Senior Secondary School. Here comes your question on the screen. Which of the following organisms causes TB, tuberculosis? Which the of the following organisms cause tuberculosis? And your options are bacteria, virus, protozoa, or algae? Option A, bacteria. You sound very, very confident. Not only you go on to say bacteria, but you also add something to it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the right answer. Well done. It is caused by something known as mycobacterium tuberculosis, which generally affects the human lungs. So well answered there by team number four. Ladies and gentlemen, at the close of the second round, here is how the scorecard looks like. Team one, Delhi Public School from Uttarakhand on 30 points. Let's clap for them, please. Team number two on 20 points. They also deserve a round of applause, please. To my left, team number three from Heritage School on 20 points. And team four, Cambridge Foundation Senior Secondary School also on 20 points. So all the teams are clustered together at this point in time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the third round of this prestigious quiz. PCR represents Saksham 2018. The third round is going to be a high powered round because it's the rapid fire. Here are the rules of the game. 60 seconds would be allocated to each team. You can take as many questions as you want, provided you are answering within the allocated time frame. You can pass a question if you wish to do that, but then you will be losing precious time. Here is the scoring pattern. 10 points per correct answer. There are no negatives at all. This time, we are going to start with team number four from Cambridge Foundation Senior Secondary School. If you are ready, your 60 seconds will be starting now. First question, logarithm tables were invented by A, John Napier, John Doe, John Harrison, or John Douglas? John Napier. John Napier is correct, well done. Nautanki and Swang are the important dance forms of which state? Uttaranchal, Uttar Pradesh, Jharkhand or Chhattisgarh? Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh is also correct. Well done. Maxese Awards are named after Ramon Maxese, who is known for A. Land reforms, B. Reforms in crimes against women, C. Reforms in administrative governance or police reforms? Option D. Police reforms. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. Question number four. Of the blood groups A, B, A, B and O, which one is transfused into a person whose blood group is A? 
Your options are group A only, group B only, group A and O, or group A B only. Option C, group A and O. Group A and O is absolutely correct. Next question. Judicature or High Court of Rajasthan. Can I'm be... going to allow you that. Is it located at Jodhpur, Jaipur, Udaipur, or Jaisalmer? Option B, Jaipur. Option B, Jaipur is incorrect. The right answer to this one is Jodhpur. But ladies and gentlemen, they have done incredibly well. Let's clap for them. Well done. You have answered some difficult ones, missed out on some easy ones. Was a good mixture. Let's see what team number three from Heritage School, Jammu and Kashmir does with their set of questions. Team three, if you are ready, we'll start your timer now. Study of line in outer space is known as end biology, exobiology, Enterbiology or Neobiology? Option B, Exobiology. Is correct. Well done. The American general who led the revolt against the British and declared America American independence was George Washington, Bernard Montgomery, George Bush or Dwight E. Eisenhower? Option B, Bernard Montgomery. Is incorrect. The correct option was George Washington. People who secretly indulge in anti-national or anti-government activities and help the enemy are called A. Second column, B. Third column, C. Fourth column or D. Fifth column. Option B. Third column. Is incorrect. Fifth column is the right answer. Next question. Which of the following is not a gas giant or a Jovian planet? A. Jupiter, B. Saturn, C. Mars, D. Neptune. Option C. Mars. Is correct. Next question. Steel is more elastic than rubber. I'm going to allow that. Your options are its density is high, it is a metal, ratio of stress to strain is more and ratio of stress to strain is less. I need a quick answer because your time is already up. Option C, ratio of stress. Is correct. I'm going to allow that. Well done. Let's clap for team number three. That was by the scruff of the neck. I did allow you the last one because I had started the question. All right. Now I have to get my breathing back team two if you are ready we'll start your timer now which indian is not the maxese award winner under emergent leadership category kejriwal pandurang shastri athavle kailash satyarthi or sanjeev chaturvedi well answer 10 points next question the chief purpose of crop rotation is to check the loss of topsoil a by water erosion b by wind erosion by weathering or of its mineral content option b of its mineral content right once again 10 points the central command of army is located at lucknow udhampur bhopal or mau it's lucknow is correct three on three next one the conservation of hawks and owls is important to mankind chiefly because these birds eat a numerous wheat seeds Harmful birds, many harmful rodents or harmful reptiles? Option C, many harmful rodents. Is correct once again. Next question. The Olympic flame symbolizes A. I'm going to allow that to you. A, unity among various nations of the world. Speed, perfection and strength. Sports as a means for securing harmony amongst nations. Or D, continuity between the ancient and modern games. You have to give me a quick answer, team two. Option D, continuity between ancient Is right, time. all right, all right. They have got all their questions answered perfectly well. Well done to team number two. All right then, next up we are going to team number one for their set of direct questions. The rest of the three teams did reasonably well. Let's see if team one can better that. Team number one, if you are ready, we'll start your timer now. First question, recently this country withdraw, withdrew from United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization or UNESCO. Is it Iraq, Pakistan, Nigeria or Israel? Quick answer. Pakistan. Is incorrect. Israel is the right answer. Which of the following GCC countries have introduced VAT? Saudi Arabia and UAE, Pakistan and UAE, Brunei and Saudi Arabia, or is it Bangladesh and UAE? C, Brunei and Saudi Arabia. Is incorrect. The correct answer is Saudi Arabia and UAE. Which of the following states has been officially declared 
open defecation free or ODF? Is it Sam Arunachal? Sikkim. D. Sikkim is correct. I'm going to grant that to you. Well answered. Which cricket team has won the 2017 Ranji Trophy tournament? Baroda, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, and Vidarbha. B. Tamil Nadu. The correct answer to this question was D. Vidarbha. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed this round. The fast and the curious. Teams were curious, teams were fast, and some teams were a little better than the others. When we come back, we'll have a second look at the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to break into a short commercial break. Please do join us back when we pick action on the fourth round. Thank you very much for watching. Petroleum products will not last forever. There is an urgent need to conserve these scarce resources like diesel and fuel by adopting good driving habits, better maintenance of vehicles, by use of public transport instead of own vehicles. So friends, let us contribute in saving the fuel and help the nation. Download the PCRA Android app to know more about saving fuel issued in public interest by Petroleum Conservation Research Association, Government of India. Yellow. Good news, sir. Today, you'll get a discount on petrol on 20% of petrol. 20%? 20%? I'll get a lot of money. So, what's the rest of the money? That's what you're doing, right? You're driving a car on 45 speed, you're off the engine on red light. 20% petrol will be necessary. That's the case, right? PCRA ka Android app download and save your money. Petroleum Sanrakshan Anusandhan Sangh, Petroleum Evam Prakritik Gas Mantra, Bharat Sarkar Dwara Jan Hitme Chari. Petroleum Evam Prakritik Gas Mantra, Bharat Sarkar Dwara Jan Hitme Chari. I thought that when I grow up, I will open a shop for the cycle repair. Why? The way you are wasting petrol, you will not save petrol in the future. Then you will go to the cycle, right? We will finish all the petrol, or we will leave it for our children. Please, you will enjoy the engine off the signal. Download the PCRA Android app and save the money to save the money. Petroleum Sanrakshan Anusandhan Sangh, Petroleum Evam Prakritik Gas Mantra, Bharat Sarkar Dwara Jan Hitme Chari. Bharat Sarkar Dwara Jan Hitme Chari. हर पॉइंट पे हम पेट्रोल सेव करने के कोशिश करते हैं हमारे यहाँ पे वीआरएस लगे हुए हैं जो नोजल से वेपर बाहर जाता है उसको भी हम वापस टैंक पे ले लेते हैं बहुत ज़्यादा एनर्जी कंसर्वेशन की दिल्ली को ज़रूरत है पीपल नीड टू गेट अवेयर अबाउट दिस एंड जो हमारे एक्टिविटीज़ हैं उनको हमको ऐसे चैनल करना पड़ेगा कि वी कैन फाइट दिस इशू टुगेदर बिकॉज़ ये इशू हमने ही क्रिएट किया है और इसको हम ही सॉल्व कर सकते हैं अगर हमें इस धरती को बचाना है वी एक्चुअली नीड टू यूज़ रीनेबल सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी टॉकिंग अबाउट रीनेबल सोर्सेज इट इज़ वेरी वेरी वेल अंडरस्टूड दैट रीनेबल रिसोर्स टेक आवर वर्ल्ड टूवर्ड्स अ सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट वेयर एज Non-ribbon renewable sources break the cycle of the world and take it towards a drastic depletion of resources and uh, towards a non-sustainable route that is just not the need of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back after the break. You're watching PCR represents Saksham 2018 and we are playing the first of the North Zonal semi-finals. We call them the Indian Nurturers. We now move on to round number four. Here are the rules of the game. We have a total of four questions in this round. It's on the buzzer, plus 20 points if you press the buzzer and give me the right answer. If you press the buzzer, give me a wrong answer. Unfortunately, you lose 10 points. If you press the buzzer and then decide to pass, you also lose 10 points. So primarily, if you are pressing the buzzer, make sure that you give me the right answer. All the best to all the teams. Here we go. First question of round number four. Here it comes on your screens. The upper portion of the mantle is called what? Is it called asthenosphere, B lithosphere, C cryosphere, or is it called the nife layer? All right, that is team number four. What is your answer? Option D, nife layer. Your answer is nife layer. Didn't I tell you? 
it, there is a negative component attached to this round. Unfortunately, you lose 10 points on this one. The correct answer that I was looking for is A, option A, asthenosphere. All right, never mind. We still have three more questions to go. Look sharp on the buzzers, all the teams. Here comes the second question of this round. Which of the following statements regarding laterite soils of India, that is team number three, laterite soils of India are correct? A, they are generally red in color. B, they are rich in nitrogen and potash. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. A is one only, B is two only, C is both one and two, or do you think is it D, none of the above? Option A, one only. One only. Ladies and gentlemen, they are right this time. 20 points is what they get. Well done. All right, two questions gone. Two more to go. Look sharp on the buzzer. Here comes the third question on your screen. Which of the following is a depositional landform? That is for team number one. And your options are stalagmite, lapis, sinkhole, or do you think it's D, cave? It is A, stalagmite. You think it's A, stalagmite, ladies and gentlemen. 20 points is what they earn for themselves. Well done, team one, DPS Uttarakhand. All right. Here comes the last question of this round on your screens. That was team number three. I'm going to complete the question for the benefit of our television audience. Among the following, which element comprises maximum percentage by weight of Earth's crust? And your options are magnesium, calcium, aluminium, and D, silicon. It is going to go towards the way of team number three. What's your answer, team three? D silicon. D silicon, ladies and gentlemen, they're right. Well done, 20 points is what they pick up. Good answer there coming from the Heritage School of Jammu and Kashmir. All right then, gentlemen, we are done with the fourth round of the North Zone Finals of this exciting quiz. A good time to have a quick look at the scores. At this point in time, team number one from Delhi Public School are on 60 points. Let's clap for them. Well done. Team number two doing very well for themselves are on 70 points. Let's clap for them as well. But leading the quiz at this point in time with 90 points is team number three from Heritage School, Jammu and Kashmir. Fantastic show. And team number four is on 40 points. All right then. It's pretty close. Might I uh, remind all the four teams, you are playing for a place at the national finals of this prestigious quiz. One more round to go. One direct question to each team. 20 points if you get it right. There are absolutely no negatives, so feel free to guess. All right, all the best to all the four teams. First question of the last round, coming to DPS Uttarakhand. It comes on your screen now. All right, you have to look carefully at the picture and then tell me which organization, which is one of the organs of United Nations, does this logo belong to? You have to give me the full answer. Abbreviated answers won't be accepted. I need the full answer. Yes, team one, I need to extract an answer quickly from you. I think I'll take that as a pass, passing that on to team number two. What's your answer? United Nations Environment Programme. Fantastic answer, ladies and gentlemen. 20 points! 20 points is what they earn for themselves. Good going. Next question is actually a direct for you. And here comes your question on the screen. It was set up as one of its kind public-private partnership company with the primary mandate of catalyzing the skills landscape in India. You have to identify the logo. This logo belongs to which organization? There are a lot of clues in the question itself. It talks about public-private partnership and the primary mandate of this organ was to catalyze the skills landscape of India should be enough to warrant an answer from team number two. Are you answering team two? 
No, I think I'll pass that to Heritage School from Jammu and Kashmir. What is your answer? Skill India program. Skill India program. Can you add something to that? I'm looking mm -hmm. for a better answer. New skill development. No, I think I'll pass that towards team number four. I'm okay. looking for the name of the corporation. Team four, I need a quick answer from you. Make in India. Make in India mm -hmm. is incorrect. Bouncing that back to team number one. Team one, by the looks on their face, they don't seem too confident. So for our television audience, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you the answer. This was the logo of the National Skill Development Corporation or the NSDC. Nobody gets any points on this one. Only two more questions to go before we decide a, f a place at the national finals of this prestigious quiz. So play well. Here comes the third question of this round. You've been shown a logo which belongs to a car company. It is the logo of a car manufactured by an American multinational corporation. You have to tell me which one. So first the name of the company and all right i'm not going to give ferrari. you yes you want to say something ferrari. ferrari no ferrari does not have a logo like this the ferrari logo is the prancing horse i'm going to bounce that back to team number four mustang ford mustang is good enough ladies and gentlemen 20 points ford mustang it is one of those iconic american multinational car company good answer coming out from team number four so ladies and gentlemen we started this quiz some time back and after one hour of exhaustive quizzing we are going to find the first winner of this round who is going to make their way to the national finale only one more question to go which is a direct for team number four here is your question shown here is the photograph of a politician who is currently the 23rd Prime Minister of a nation. You'll have to give me his name. Just to earn some brownie points, his name is essential to scoring points, but if you could also tell me he's the Prime Minister of which country? Italy. Italy, and his name would be? Um, wait, I know, I know. The, wait, wait, wait. They say they know. I don't think I can give you any more time. I'll have to pass that. I'll have to pass that. That could prove to be a costly miss. Team one, do you have a clue to this one? Who is he? Is the essential part of the question. And just to get some brownie points, if you could also tell me, he is the 23rd Prime Minister of which country? Is it Justin Trudeau? Is it Justin Trudeau is asking a question to the quiz master? Which Justin is Trudeau. not a good practice. Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau. And he's the Prime Minister of which country according to you? Canada. They say the politician is Justin Trudeau, the incumbent Canadian Prime Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, we end the quiz with a positive answer. Well done. Let's clap for them. 20 points. Fantastic answer coming there from team number one. Perfect answer. This indeed is Justin Trudeau, the incumbent Canadian Prime Minister. Oh boy then, we are done with this round. So, some teams are praying, some are hoping that they have done well enough to secure a place at the national finals. We are going to have a quick check at the scorecard. Team 1, they finished the quiz on 80 points. They deserve a round of applause for that. Well done to team number 1. Surprise, surprise, we have a tie for the top spot. Team number two and team number three are tied for the first spot on 90 points apiece. Let's clap for both of them. Well done. Well done to both the teams. And team number four, they finished the quiz with 60 points. So when we began the quiz, I did mention that the objective of this zonal format is to find one winner who is going to represent their zone at the national finale. So there is, since there is a tiebreaker between two teams, we are going to do it in a sudden death format. Here are the rules of the game. I'm going to ask you a question, which is also going to appear on your monitor. You have to press the buzzer and try and give me the right answer. If you press the buzzer, give me the right answer, you win. 
If you press the buzzer, give me a wrong answer, the other team wins. If you press the buzzer and then decide to pass, automatically the other team wins. So those are the simple rules of this tiebreaker round. All the best to the two bright looking teams. Here we go with the first of the tiebreaker questions coming up on the screen now. She is the first Indian to break into the top 10 in the Professional Squash Association women's rankings. Teams are playing it safe. Nobody going for the buzzer yet. Who is she? A very famous sports person. I'll give you an additional clue. Her husband is also a very famous sports star, is a cricketer. Nobody going for it? Okay, I'll give you the right answer. That's none other than Deepika Palikal, the very famous squash player. All right then, let's move on to the second question. The rules still remain the same. Look sharp on the buzzer. Here comes your second question on the screen. Identify the brand associated with this famous tagline called Don't Leave Home Without It. Think logically. It says don't leave home without it. It's a company which has something to do with finance. Something to do with finance is an American giant. That's a big clue to both the teams. Just for the want of resolving this tiebreaker, I'm going to give you another additional clue. They are famously known for issuing credit cards. For issuing credit cards. Which company is this? Okay, finally, finally, a buzz from Team 2. Team 2, I hope you do realize that a place in the finals is at stake. So what is going to be your answer? I hope it is the right one though. American Express. American Express. Ladies and gentlemen, I talked about this company being a financial giant, an American company. So the answer possibly could have been Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Team 2 had a gut feeling. They went with American Express. And ladies and gentlemen, it breaks my heart to say team number 3 loses out. And team number 2, they qualify for the national finals. Well done to them. Exceptionally well played. Sometimes your gut feeling does help you secure a place in the national final. But I believe team number 3 also deserve an equal thunderous round of applause for their effort well done to you very very well played all right team number two i'll meet you next week at the national finale so prepare well this was a uh, not a very high scoring round so i'll suggest you to prepare well because the national finale is only going to get tougher right having said that so then ladies and gentlemen here are the final scores from the north zone semi-finals Team 1, they end the quiz with 80 points. Uh, so let's clap for them. They have done really, really well for themselves. Team number 2 with that exciting finish, uh, getting the last question right on the buzzer round. They end the quiz on 110 points and they are the champions of this round. Well done to them once again. Very, very well played. Towards my left, team number three, they end the quiz on 90 points and are the runners-up of this quiz. Let's clap for them. And team number four, not too bad, they end the quiz on 60 points. So let's clap for them as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very distinguished gentleman amongst us. May I please invite Sri Tarachan, Director EC, PCRA on stage, please, to give away the prizes. Sir, if you can kindly come up. Let's clap for him, please. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Great to have you amongst us. All right. So we are going to distribute the prizes in the reverse order, starting first with the team which has finished fourth. May I invite Cambridge Foundation Senior Secondary School to kindly come up and collect their prizes. Well done, gentlemen. Don't look detected. Very well played.
All right then, ladies and gentlemen, that about does it for the first episode of this exciting quiz. PCRA presents Saksham 2018. Do join us back next week for yet another episode of this exciting quiz. Next week, we'll play with four champion teams from the West Zone. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, God bless and good luck. Bye-bye. पेट्रोलियम पदार्थ सीमित हैं और जल्द ही खत्म हो जाने वाले हैं इसीलिए इन दुर्लभ पदार्थ को बचाना जरूरी है एलपीजी बचाने के लिए प्रेशर कुकर का इस्तेमाल करें पीसीआरए द्वारा बताए गए साधारण टिप्स अपनाएं आइए दोस्तों हम ईंधन बचाएं और देश की प्रगति में हाथ बटाएं पीसीआरए का एंड्रॉइड ऐप डाउनलोड करें और एल बचत के उपाय जाने पेट्रोलियम संरक्षण अनुसंधान संघ भारत सरकार द्वारा जनहित में जारी